it's a pretty well-known fact that the Cornish were drawn first to the copper mines in South Australia. The main one that they went to was a borough, and there were a number of Cornish people settled there while the copper mining was in progress. Later on, they went down to Moonta and the copper mining there, but when gold was discovered in Victoria, their first uh, thought was to get across here as fast as they could. And there was another place in South Australia, uh, Kapunda, and from there, the miners, and in many cases their wives, made the long journey across here to Bendigo and more to Bendigo, it seems, than to other places, but certainly to the Victorian gold fields. Now, one of the advantages of Bendigo over a lot of the other places was that it wasn't every man's ambition to have his son follow him down the mine. They were miners, but uh, they were aware of the habits, and they didn't necessarily want their sons to follow them down. Now, the type of mining that was operated in the deep mining meant there was as many people worked on top of the surface as there, uh, there was down below. So there was a better opportunity for them to get a job above the surface than it was down below. We must understand that the Cornish had been mining for centuries and they knew pretty well anything that was to be known about hard rock mining because that's what they were used to. And Bendigo, of course, was a field of hard rock mining too, being quartz mining. And the Cornish really were the ones who were able to work out where they should mine, and they were also able to, to by their skills, work that gold. The, the reason that the mine, uh, miners came to St Just Point, and virtually St Just Point got its name after that, was because uh, a large group came across in the same ship, uh, they came up in the same train, and they went out and settled in uh, that spot that uh, was... Uh, this avoided deep mining uh, and they went there in a spot and that's where a lot of them set up their tents for a start. Some of them uh, moved off to other locations to set up their permanent uh, residence but a large percentage of them stayed. The miners in Bendigo, even though it was uh, at one stage the Strader's leading, leading minefield and probably still to this day is the seventh most richest in the world, it was exploited rather than, rather than worked as an industry. Now, what I mean by that was that a lot of companies would chase the high-paying ore and often uh, overlook ore that would make a, you know, make a be payable. And when they found this high-paying ore, they uh, would work three shifts, and that had. Uh, Two benefits, it given a greater return, but also brought up the share price. I think history would show there's more money made in shares in Bendigo than there was on gold, actually. But uh, when things got back to normal, there would be a group of miners out of work. So that meant that uh, they'd go and get another job. Now, because Long Gully, or St Just Point, was in the middle of Bendigo's most worked, or produced five mile of Bendigo and a two mile walk at that period, it wasn't an onerous job, uh, and many miners had to work as many as two or three mines a year to get a job. Long Gully was a good spot to cover most of the fields. <laughs> 